Okay, so I've been getting a lot of people want to know how I make my acai bowls. So I said, okay, okay, you know, I'll make a video and I'll explain it all, but I got to tell you, it's like anything else that I've learned in life. I've learned from someone that's much better than me, um, whether it's jujitsu or making an acai bowl. It's not my witchcraft. Someone else better than me taught me, and I'm going to kind of share that with you. Um, for example, Henry Gracie here, if you can see on YouTube, is who I learned how to make the bowl from. If you want to know his variation, go to YouTube. Um, you know, type in Henner Gracie Acai Bowl. That's pretty much where I got all my tricks from. Um, and I'll reference him later because he actually invited me over to his house one time and showed me a couple things, extra things that he likes to do that's not in this video. So um, anyway, there it is. And come on over here with me and we'll get started. So what I do is, I, I'm from Illinois and we don't have any acai roots and it's very hard to find uh, acai um, Frozen acai, acai like we would need it to make these uh, smoothies with. So this is Sambazon. I go, I order mine through Amazon.com and I get the unsweetened smoothie packs. If this is your first time trying acai, maybe go with the sweetened variation. It might taste better, but um, I don't like the added sugar. I put in my own natural sweetener just like Kendra does in the video and I'll explain that too, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we rip, I ripped this open. And inside the pack, there's going to be four smaller bricks. Okay? I'm going to throw stuff around here. Don't mind me. So there's four smaller bricks. I'm going to run just a little bit of water to help soften them up. And I'm going to break them up a little bit so it, they uh, land better in the blender. So all I'm doing right now is kind of just breaking them just a little bit. I'm just breaking them. Okay? It'll make sense in a second. Break them, break them, break them. Boom. Shut that off. Slice them open. Don't cut your finger, guys. This is professionals only. Don't play with knives. <laughs> All right. This the, ma the magic's starting to happen right now, guys. Right now, I'm starting to get excited. It's starting to happen. Just like so, we're going to... Fold them in half and squeeze. You guys see how they, there's a bunch of pieces because I broke them up. It just makes it all mix better later if it's broken up and not just like in one big massive chunk. All right, feel me? I know you do. All right, so break them up. Boom. Okay, there you go. You got frozen unsweetened acai bricks from the Amazon in your blender right now. Problem. They're unsweetened. You gotta sweeten them up. What do you, you don't wanna, you know. This is for taste, right? This is probably one of the healthiest things you can eat that tastes as good as it does. It really tastes so good that you think, man, this can't be, this can't be that healthy, but it is. You gotta try it out. Anyway, frozen organic grapes, okay? I, I wash the grapes, I pluck them individually, um, throw them into the freezer overnight, let them freeze. And I throw them in the blender just like Henner does. This is all in Henner's video. I'm just a copycat. That's all I'm doing. I'm a copycat. Okay. Thank you, Henner, for letting me copy you. I learned this all from you. You're great. But um, it's a great trick. It makes more uh, acai and it tastes great. So I usually put, I don't know, you can get as crazy as you want. Get as froggy as you want with these grapes, guys. How much you want to make? Okay. I'm feeling good about that right there. What do you guys, that's, that's about right for me. All right. That's about right for me. All right. Now. I got a bit of a sweet tooth tonight, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna throw some honey in there. It's all good, guys. Honey works, okay? It's good for your bowl. All right, make it rain, make it rain. I don't know how crazy you wanna get with the honey, but you know, yeah, some people like more, some less. You don't want any honey, it's all good without honey. All right, that's it. All right, so there's that. Next, this is papaya, okay? Um, no, I don't know how much papaya you want. And I'm not very good at slicing this, by the way. I probably just murdered this. But believe me when I say the papaya here, it's not as good as it was when I went to Brazil. When I went to Brazil, the papaya like tastes so much better. But it works. You gotta make do with what you got, okay? I'm in Illinois. We import all our, all our stuff, all right? Now Henner, you gotta see him cut this stuff. It's like amazing. It's amazing that he uh, can cut this so nice. I'm like, I'm still white belt at cutting this stuff, trust me. Okay. All right. So 
So what I do is I cut it up here in the blender so it mixes better again later and falls better. All right. That's all I'm doing. Cool. So I'm really hoping I don't cut myself in the middle of my YouTube video. That would be embarrassing. Gotta be careful here. All right, so we got papaya, frozen grapes, honey with the SIE bricks, and now the finishing touch, coconut water, okay? Depending on how much frozen product you have in there, you'll want more or less coconut water. I'm going to go with about a cup. I'm gonna, yeah, right there, and we're good, okay? So this is everything that goes in the blender, all right? Speaking of blenders, Henry said it in the video, I'm going to tell you again, you can't have grandma's blender for this. This has to be like a legitimate blender. It's got to be heavy duty. Now, the best that I found is Vitamix. Pretty pricey. I got a Ninja. It's kind of pricey too. Not as pricey as um, the Vitamix, however, okay? But um, it gets the job done. But you got to have a heavy duty one. If you just have one of the little cheap, cheap ones, the motor's not going to be strong enough, okay? There's a lot of product in there, okay? Keep it real. All right, we'll keep going. All right, so I'm about ready to, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna make it happen. Meanwhile, if you look over in that direction, this is my partner, Jason. He helps me teach jujitsu here at um, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Jacksonville, Illinois, at 803 South Diamond in here in Jacksonville, Illinois. He's gonna be my assistant. I'm gonna hit play. It's gonna get loud. We're gonna train jujitsu and we'll come right back. Cool. I told you you need a big blender. I'm going to show you how it's going. Uh oh. This happens, guys. This happens. Okay. I might need. The, the thing is, I think I have too many frozen grapes in there, so let's throw some more in there. Okay. Let's not be shy about our coconut water, okay? Can't be stingy with it. Boom. Make sure this gets the go. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Imagine down there. Do it. Okay, come on, Jason. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, 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 you didn't know that was good, Mom. Do it, it's good. Should we go back to it? Oh, 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 you got me in the head lock. All right, back over here. Back over here. Now, you guys see. It's still working. It's still working. Okay. So, we're going to look at the screen here. These are some of the toppings that we're going to put on here in a second. Come on in here, close. Granola, 100% natural, classic granola, it's all deadly, it's all deadly. Optional, goji berries. Black chia seeds. Organic hip seeds. Dates. Cacao nibs. And organic shredded coconut. equipment as we talked about the blender the small little grandma ball is not gonna cut it I like the big old you know huge dish this is a meal for me understand this isn't just like a snack I actually use this for a meal so um, it, it's a lot of product it's quite filling and um, yeah so there's that all right let's do it okay got the spatula oh god this is so okay Guys, you should be getting excited right now. If you've ever had acai, you should be getting excited. Because you know what's about to happen. It's about to get real. Cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. 
I am off track here. We're going to get back on point. All right, cool. So there's that. Okay. Um, throw some granola on there. Okay. Just sprinkle. I like to sprinkle. Look. Boom. Boom. Okay. Um, I, okay. Hip seeds. One of the highest uh, plant-based proteins that there are is hemp. Okay. Don't smoke it. Eat it. It's healthy. There's no THC in it. It's all legal and healthy. It's from the earth. Go, go earth. Okay. Black chia seeds. Got some on Black chia seeds. I don't know. I heard these were good. I googled them. All kinds of health benefits. It's all deadly. Go in. Go in next. Goji berries. Same type of deal. Don't get too froggy though. I just put like just food. Okay. Um. What else we got going on here? For sure. Oh yeah. Okay. So come over here real quick. So the thing that Henner turned me on to at his house was putting figs and dates into his acai bowl. And I sometimes I do figs. I don't have any today, but I do have uh, dates. And these are organic dates that I get. Uh, typically, I get my organic stuff in Springfield and Jacksonville. There's not a big selection, so I go over to uh, well, the Cookie Mill Market on Cookie Mill in Springfield is uh, is a great option, but. What Henner had me doing was I throw these in water, let them soak for a little bit, and then you run them under like, you know, semi-warm water, and you can actually rub the skin off, the top layer. You actually peel, like just rub it off while running water over it, and then you pinch out the shell, and then I chop it up. I don't know, I, it's, it's better for me to chop it up, you know, in the mix. Um, it just, uh, the texture's better, and it's easier to eat if you, if you cut it up. So that's what I did, so let's throw our dates in here. Cool, okay, we'll mix those up later. Tastes delicious, by the way, I'm telling you what. You wouldn't think. I, I, I never knew dates were so good to have them my sable, okay? So, thank you again, Henner. Um, organic shredded coconut. Don't get the kind, the baking kind that you get at the market. You really need to get the organic shredded coconut um, because the other stuff's got all kinds of stuff in it you don't want to put in there. Um, you can read the back of your labels and check, do all the homework yourself, but take my word for it, okay? Get the organic, always go organic. All right, don't want any chemicals in your food. All right, yeah, that's raining, okay? I like a lot of coconut. Some people put it in the blender and blend it up with the acai. I don't because sometimes I, you know, yeah, I don't like it all mixed in. I just kind of eat it as it is. What else, okay? Raw cacao nibs, all right? Now, this is interesting because if you were to like eat these like right now, they're kind of bitter. It's like basically chocolate without anything else in it. That's what it is. Super powerful antioxidant. Bitter plain, but when you throw it in the mix with the natural sweeteners, it's magic. I'm telling you. So I kind of like I like my cacao. That's right. So I put a little bit of that in there. Um, okay. Raisins, I've already washed these off. When you get raisins, um, they're filthy in there. Wash them off, okay? Um, get, clean them off. You don't want to eat dirty stuff. Who knows where they've been before they met you? That sort of thing, right? Okay. And that's it. That's my bowl today, guys. That's it. Now, what you can do. Now, yeah, he's ready. It's against the Gracie diet, but it does taste good. And sometimes I do it depending on what I feel like. You can't put bananas in there. Okay. So, you can blend it in with the acai. Or if you want, you can simply... Make little coins, and then decorate your bowl. Yeah, tastes good. Again, it's a Gracie diet violation. You can go study that online if you're interested in the Gracie diet. It's an extremely healthy way to eat. Um, also, we have this cookbook here by Angela Gracie that has all the Gracie diet recipes in it. Uh, we've, we've made a handful of these. They're delicious. They're great. Extremely healthy for you. So go check that out also. Right. It's cool. So this is it, guys. This is my acai bowl. That's how I do it. Um, again, thank you for, uh, to Henner Gracie for showing me this and allowing me to be a copycat. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.